All right, guys. Um, since it's uh, it's the spirit of the season and Christmas is coming up soon. Uh, it's the eighth today. Uh, from where I am, I'm from Ontario, in small town Sarnia. And uh, anyway, I wanted to uh, kind of do a little more Christmas Eve tutorial. And but this isn't the uh, only thing that you're gonna learn how to make on uh, this tutorial part. I'm gonna teach you how to make this part, this shovel here and add uh, some textures to it but then um, hopefully looking to make it uh, make it inside a scene for everyone to uh, to see it's it'll yeah it'll kind of be like a Christmassy scene like a shoveling up against uh, between the fence and the house type thing with some snow on the ground and you know so um, yeah that that's what this is what you're gonna be learning how to make in this tutorial and I changed around with a few of the settings to my recorder so forgive me if oops so forgive me if anything like that pops up. So um, here's Blender. Once again, good old Blender. Uh, hit push T, and that'll get rid of the sidebar. And let's make a plane right now by hitting Shift A and plane. All right. So right away, grab those two vertices there and hit, and hit E to extrude. And just bring that up to maybe there. You can bring this vertice back down. Now I'm not the best modeler. I just kind of make it so that it looks good. Um, why is it not clicking this vertice here? There we go. Extrude that. And to extrude it along the line properly, you can just hit E and then Z or Y or X, whichever axis you're, you prefer to extrude it along. Yeah, sometimes it's a little goofy. And bring this vertice down. Okay. Um, now there's two things that we're going to do here. First, we're going to give it some depth, or solidify, I mean. And that'll just make it look so it's not like paper thin. And then the second thing we want to do is uh, give it a subdivision surface. And now that looks really bad. But what we can do is if you hit Control R, what that does for subdivisions is it basically it straightens it out a little bit more. So if you want one part to be smooth and another part to be sharp, it's basically what you can do. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is hit tab and now we're going to be adding some loop cuts along here to make it look like it's kind of got grooves for perhaps uh, scraping up ice or something like that and we're just going to add four and this is by hitting control r and please get to get used to using that we will be using that a lot and just basically extrude it just a little bit you don't want it to go too far and don't uh, select all of them at once, because if you do, it'll uh, select this whole area here. Anything that's orange will be affected. So unfortunately, you are going to have to do it line by line. That is what I know. Oops. Perfect. Two more. And um, to select multiple vertices, vertices at once, just hit hold uh hold shift shift is for selecting multiple objects at once so if you don't know how to do that uh that is how you do it uh i'd like to apologize for how long the uh, guitar tutorial series is taking up their uh benjamin cogswell our object model he puts a lot of detail into his work and we always joke him saying you actually he doesn't just detail the top of the screw he details the whole screw top to bottom so anyway a little off topic um just continue here let's go ahead and add the uh, the pole so shift a and go ahead and add a cube and you may be wondering whoa cubes aren't you know cylindrical why would we be using that well if you're modeling it's um it's a really good idea just to get used to 
because cubes when add modifiers to them you just i feel like there's a lot more uh, possibilities that you can have with it and right now i'm just trying to get the size right just by hitting s and then y along the axis and um okay that should be fine just rotate it a bit so it has a bit of an angle you know think of you know people when they're trying to use their shovels or whatever and it's not just completely straight because it would be very awkward. And now we want to make this a pole. So give this a subdivision surface. And I usually, three is pretty much my limit. I don't usually go any higher because that's when it starts to get a little glitchy. And I'm into game development a lot. Our company's working on a game right now. And we've almost got the first level complete. Uh, the first level's in a hospital. And uh, it's coming along pretty well. It should be out within the next two years. So we'll start up a website. That's something that we're really looking into is starting up a website. So, yeah. Um, now we're just going to do the handle here. And the first time I messed this up and it looked really weird, but I think I got it now. So just size this down. And you're basically just going to want it to get it to the like what size you want your handle to be at. So... Once again, just scaling along the S and the Y. Okay. Now, go into tab mode and make two loop cuts here. And basically, wherever you see this cube in the middle, that's where the hole will be for the handle. So now select this here. And the underside of it here. And hit X and then select base. Okay, now we don't want this gap in the middle here, so what you can do is select these vertices here, and we're going to extrude them downwards by hitting E, and hold that down along the Z. And now, we can once again go in and add a trusty subdivision surface. And we're going to put that to a subdivision of 3. And just rotate that. And just add just add a loop cut here and there just to kind of give it just a little bit more a little bit more realism. You know, it's the little things that really make your scene look good. I've also noticed that once you have a subdivision enabled, if you hit T and click smooth, it doesn't give you this weird effect where it flips around your normals, um, which I think is pretty awesome. Um, okay, that'll be fine for now. So now we got all that done. Oh, actually, we should go ahead and just set this smooth, too, just by hitting T and clicking smooth. Now, let's go ahead and add uh, materials, and I'm going to try to do this really quickly because we are running out of time. So this is going to be simple. I usually turn this down to pretty dark, and I keep the handle just a little bit lighter. And now for this pole, this is the only texture that we're going to have. I pulled uh, this texture off of CG, CG Images, and it's a great website if you're into 3D art. It's got tons of great uh, images for you to use. So we're just going to go ahead and open this up, if I can remember where I put it. And it's actually called Wood Floor, but I use it for, I use it for benches and objects, small objects like this that aren't probably as noticeable. Just turn the size up. And if you turn this up, the image gets smaller, but I'm sure you remember that from my other tutorial, no, texturing tutorial. And let's turn the specularity down just a bit. And that actually should just about wrap it up. So let's just render this here and see what it looks like. Okay, um, let's just give this handle a bit of a size up. I don't know anyone's hands that's that small. Okay, wonderful. So we're going to get into putting this into the scene in the next part. I might not do it today, but I'm going to try to. So um, that's how you make a shovel in Blender. So I hope you guys learned something from this tutorial, and I will hopefully see you with part two. All right, bye, guys. Happy blending.